Okay, I'm recording this video after the close of trade Wednesday, the 14th of April 2010, and we had an extremely uh, strong trending day today. Finally broke through to 12, uh, the uh, 1200 level. I think the uh, high for the day was 1207.50. And I got this email from Araz, and I thought it'd be helpful to reply to this in, uh, with a video. In fact, I'm going to do uh, the reply to this with two videos. And um, it's quite a long email, but in the second part here, he says, I've been watching your videos and truly love them. That's great, really appreciate that, especially what trades you took and why. I would love to see what trades you took today. I seem to want to find the end of the trend with exhaustion buying selling and then trade that. However, today it was such a strong trending day. Every time I thought I'd found a reversal, I got stopped out. I'd appreciate if you could show me something in your videos to describe how to recognize a trending day, blah, 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 blah. Now, I want to talk about this whole point uh, to do with exhaustion buying uh, and selling and reversals. And my rule of thumb is we cannot have a reversal of trade trend until we have had exhaustion volume. Uh, now, I look for exhaustion volume on both the uh, 4500 tip bar chart and the 1500 tip bar chart in my day trading. That's kind of a first prerequisite of a ch change in trend. Uh, the second one is that I get um, you know, a signal in terms of price changes as well. So I need to see an end of uh, trend signal on my better sine wave indicator. Um, but today, I just want to talk about uh, exhaustion volume and volume momentum. And this is you know, something that's extremely close to my heart. I get very excited about this whole subject, so forgive me if I go overboard in this video. But uh, the key point to take away from this video is that price-based momentum is not enough. It was you know, a great indicator over the last 30, 40, 50 years, but in these days, it, we have far better tools available to us. And if you're still using a price-based momentum calculation, you are missing out. So I'm going to try and show you in this video why I believe that's the case. So brought up the 4500 tip bar chart, continuous contract E-mini. I've got two indicators on here. First of all, better momentum, which is a volume-based uh, momentum calculation it plots two things. The first one is it plots exhaustion buying and selling. This is exhaustion buying with these two cyan bars and I've also uh, plotted those cyan bars on the price bars. I don't normally do this in my uh, chart setup but I've just done that for clarification. And then it's, uh, it also gives me divergence patterns with uh, bearish and bullish divergence. Bearish is white and bullish is, is red. And you can see where we are making new lows and we have less selling going on. We have bullish divergence with these uh, red dots here. Bearish divergence is where we're making new highs and uh, we have less uh, selling going on. So for example, up here, uh, we've got bearish divergence. So that's what better momentum does. Now, all I've done here is just add the canned momentum indicator out of TradeStation here. So this is the default settings. I think the look back is uh, a closing difference uh, of 12 bars. And it plots this very pretty kind of heat-based uh, momentum calculation. And it looks fabulous. But I'm really sorry to tell you, it is I'm not going to say next to worthless, but you can do so much better. Let me talk about it. Okay, now this is uh, today's trade. It's, I've probably got you know two weeks worth of trade on this chart here. Today we ended the day with an extremely strong run up, and the better momentum indicator was showing that we had exhaustion buying at these highs up at the 1207 level, and we we'd had an extremely strong trending day, and it basically ended up in climactic buying. Now that was clear on better momentum and this shows me that I could not have taken a reversal a short trade until I had seen that climactic buying activity I cannot go short until I've seen this either on the 4500 or the 1500 tip bar chart okay now if you look at the momentum indicator down here you can see here at the exact same time that we had climactic buying on better momentum we had this signal on on the regular price based momentum doesn't tell me anything. It's telling me that the difference between the close of this bar and the close of 12 bars ago was about four points, you know, and it had been throughout the whole day. You know, each each time this m momentum calculation hit a new peak, it was about four points, and we'd gone up four points in 12 bars. Well, big deal. That does not tell me anything. It just tells me we've got a slow, steady, trending day up. However, as we're going into these highs, you know the professionals are offloading their positions. Now, do something just quickly here. 
bring, bring on the better Pro-Am indicator which shows me professional and amateur activity and you can see coming into these highs look at all these professional blue bars they are selling that close as we get making these new highs above 1200 they're getting out reversing and going short but momentum just shows you that we're just increasing at a, a rate of, of four points uh, per bar just you know uh, compared to the, the close 12 bars ago but in fact what's going on here is the professionals are offloading and here we get a final climactic buying activity where all the amateurs get suckered in who knows they get their stops get hit they finally kind of realize I've got to get on board this uptrend because it's you know it's, it's going to the moon blah 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 well there's climactic buying nothing on better momentum on the price based so you have to start using a volume based calculation I'm just going to take this off better pro am do you want to use better momentum or another momentum volume based momentum calculations there are other things out there you don't have to use my particular uh, signal but let me just show you some back history over the last two weeks what this sig uh, signal has, has been showing me and why it shows me kind of tra ch changes in trend if we go back a couple of days ago we had um, this signal down here where we had exhaustion selling on the downside and we bounced from that level in fact that was a very significant level we bounced uh, off it a couple of days later now on the better momentum calculation you can see here we had exhaustion selling at that point all the sellers had sold it was a significant you know turning point and it allowed us to rally from there better, uh, the momentum straight price based momentum calculation I don't know what that's telling me. It's you know negative two points or something like that. There's no signal there. You need a signal to know there was a change of trend happening there, and we rallied from there on. You know, a couple of bars uh, prior to that. Again, we had exhaustion buying at this point. In fact, we'd gone up twice up at these these highs. Exhaustion buying both times before we finally kind of turned around and had a little bit of weakness in the market. Exhaustion buying on better momentum price-based momentum nothing again it's just showing me a, a two-point advance compared to what the price bar was 12 bars ago it's just got no information there similarly here back uh, back on the 6th uh, of April exhaustion buying two exhaustion buying signals up here at the hot tops very important signal uh, 1185 market topped out uh, reversed and, and went short we've got clear exhaustion buying happening at that point regular price based momentum again it's like what is that telling me it's just there's no signal there lastly up here um, we had exhaustion buying and then we crept, kept on creeping up higher and higher until we got uh, bearish divergent signals up here showing me that you know, although we were still rising into new highs there was less and less buying activity going on well what was the price based momentum calculation telling me it was telling me there was no change the price was still going up there's no divergent signal there's no exhaustion signal there so what can I tell you please if you're going to use momentum calculation use a volume based momentum calculation uh, price based momentum is just not enough and these days when we have volume information you know 20 30 years ago when you know uh, Wells Wilder and all the the, the classic uh, technical uh, traders who are doing remarkable work with arithmetic calculations and an arithmetic kind of approach to uh, trading and signal generation they were doing great work and the momentum indicator was groundbreaking absolutely no doubt about it but today we have much better information coming from the exchanges we have volume traded at the bid and the ask which is what better momentum is based on and it can show us these real important cyclical turning points now a last point better momentum is not perfect here we had a very significant low in the market 1185 and we rallied from there a couple of days ago now better momentum gave me bullish divergence points I didn't get a climactic selling signal I would have loved to have had one of these signals here now there was on the 1500 tip bar chart you know, no problem there it was also a very low value however compared to what it was seeing a couple of days ago it wasn't as extreme so we didn't get a signal here you know some of the, sometimes you have to there's a little bit of interpretation that goes on you have to figure out you know should I really be interpreting this as an exhaustion signal so you know I'm not trying to say that better momentum is the be all and end all in, in terms of momentum indicators it's not perfect nothing is perfect but I tell you what I'd much rather be trading with this than a price based momentum calculation so that's the first part in this video I'll record a second video just talking about trending days do that uh, a little bit later but anyway I hope that was helpful to you